What is going on, everybody? Welcome back. My name is Buttons. This is Buttons Grips and Rips, although there's not going to be any ripping. There's not going to be gripping tonight. Uh, but I am back with my second box of SGC. Let's see what we get this time. Remember what I am trying to get. If you watched my previous video, I'm trying to get a 10 on the Trevor Lawrence downtown that I submitted. We shall see if it's in this box or if it's in the next one. We've got some wrestling on top. That's pretty cool. Right on top, we have a Kurt Angle. Uh, this is a Kurt Angle Auto to 99. Oh, and this 1010. This is a PC card for sure. This is probably in the top two, if not the top guy that I collect, other than Brett the Hitman Hart, which is, I would say Brett the Hitman Hart is probably my favorite of all time with Kurt Angle being number two. But this, uh, this 1010, this is a PC card all the way. This is not going anywhere. Um, definitely not a sell for me. This is definitely a keep. What a nice looking card. Speaking of that, this is a, uh, a Bret Hart, a little thicker card. I can kind of tell it's S SGC, put this in a thicker slab. This is a, uh, a Leaf Auto that I got of Bret. This is a 9.5. Oh, still a nice looking card. Probably still piece, I don't know, probably still keep it. Probably won't sell this one just because I'm hardcore into Bret Hart. He's my favorite of all, he's my favorite of all time. He's my goat, so definitely will keep that. Uh, we have a Brett Favre Sports Heroes Auto. I believe this is numbered. I don't know what it's number two, but we will see. This oh, this got a ten uh, for the auto, obviously, and then a nine five. So this is nice. Kind of a little loose in there. I'm not sure if that's. That should be loose in there for, for SGC. Um, I don't think that's loose, but this is a little loose. I may, I'm not sure. I may sell this card. This is three out of five, number to five. So this is a nice, a nice looking card. Um, might sell that one. We'll see. Ooh, this is my Danica. I have two Danicas that I submitted. We'll see. You know what? We're going to save this one for last. This Danica is numbered to 40. This is a auto. Hopefully this does well. Uh, we got a 10-9. Not horrible, but not what we wanted, obviously. Still a nice looking card. Might be a sell for me, to be honest. But uh, definitely pops. Really nice looking card there. This is the one that I actually traded for this. I did not pull this, a buddy of mine did. Um, thank you, JMT. But this is the uh, the 101, uh, I believe, vinyl is what they call it for the 2022 uh, Prism Racing. Ooh, let's go. Come on. Oh, got a nine. You know, again, still a nice looking card. Um, may end up keeping it, may not. We'll see. I'll have to. I'll have to look. You know, if somebody offers me a ton for it, I might take it. But. You know, I do collect Danica, so um, I may just hang on to it. Next one is a PC person. I'm a huge Syracuse fan. I'm not sure I, I mentioned that in the last video, uh, but this is a Dwight Freeney. Um, I, I believe this is an auto. Yeah, it is an auto, number to 99. Let's see how it does. 1010. Oh, this is death. Or this, that, not. This is not going anywhere. Trust me. This one. Oh man. What a card. Look how great that looks. Yeah. Very excited about that 10. Very excited. Uh, again, Syracuse fan. This is a McNabb uh, auto that I got at a card show, I believe. Uh, numbered to 125. Uh, 
Uh, this 9.5, so not bad. You know, obviously not what we wanted because it did look pretty clean. There might be a little bit on that corner there, maybe, but not not too bad. Oh, but, but still a nice looking card for sure for the PC. This is an interesting card. Um, I think I traded for this a while back, or I might have got it from my local card store, but this is a numbered out of 10 Michael Urban Auto uh, Electric Etch. And you don't see a lot of, I don't see a lot of Michael Urban Autos, um, to be honest. So uh, we'll see what happens. And this 9.5, nice looking card. Um, this may be a sell. It probably is a sell for me. I mean, I'm not a huge Michael Irvin fan. Again, especially since he torched the my bills in the Super Bowl a couple times. So, um, nice looking card. Probably a sell, though. Ooh, Syracuse. Again, uh, I got this out of a... Um, this was a break, actually, that I got this card from. Uh, this was an auto number to 10, I believe. Got very lucky uh, with pulling this out of a out of a break. There was a it was a case that somebody opened, a couple cases, maybe maybe 10 cases, something like that. But uh, pulled this card. Um, it was pretty cheap for me because you know not a lot of people collect Buddy Bayheim. Um, we'll see how this goes. This got a 9.5. I'm fine with that. You know, it's it's not gonna be perfect. But it, you know, it looks pretty clean. Number out of 10, um, definitely PC uh, card for me. Will not sell this. This is a Edge um, Pop Century Auto, number to 15. Um, if you if you watch my previous video, I'm not. I, I am a big Edge fan, but I don't you know really really go out of my way in PC Edge. So. You know, if, if this if this doesn't ten or, or have a good grade, I probably will sell it. But it looked pretty clean, so I wanted to uh, to slap it up. This got a nine five. Yeah, again, nice looking card. Really pops out of that case. Um, this might be a sell. I might hang on to it. I'm not sure. We'll see about offers and whatnot. But uh, definitely a nice looking card. We have a Liv Morgan uh, auto. Um, Again, I like Liv Morgan. I don't really PC her that much. Um, I'll buy her every once in a while. Uh, but I, I pulled this out of a, uh, out of a box, so I wanted to uh, to slap it up because it did look clean. And this 9.5, so it, yeah, it's a nice looking card. But again, it's just kind of a base revolution auto. Uh, but a nice looking card. This, I, I don't know. This one here is Randy Orton. These usually do not grade well, but this was a redemption that I pulled out of the an impeccable box. Uh, so I'm not sure how this is gonna do. I hope it does okay. We'll see. Ah, and it got an eight. Yeah, these are hard. You know, these are these are hard to grade. I do see. Gosh, I wish I had seen that before. I do see a couple things on the edges. You know that might prevent it from uh, from getting a better grade. I probably should have cleaned it or tried to do something to it. But um, it's a nice looking card. Still, not sure what I'm going to do with this. Um, I, I may keep it just because I pulled it and it was a redemption and it looks fantastic. But um, yeah, nice looking. Card. Uh, this is uh, a guy that I. Goldberg and I, I grew up kind of around that era um, and he was just the man so um, this is an auto of his I hope this does well I'm not sure this will 10 it looked pretty clean but maybe a 9 is what I was guessing so we'll see 9 did get a 9 so it's numbered out of 50 nice looking card um, probably will keep it uh, but uh, we'll see uh, probably not going to keep this one. I hope this does do well, though, because um, I did get this from a local card card shop uh, around the area, and uh, this is a Mankind Auto out of Chronicles. Um, it looked pretty clean to me when I got it, and it was uh, it was pretty cheap. So, let's see what happens here. Nine five. So it got a nine five. Not quite a ten, but uh, but I will. 
I am a UFC fan as well. I do collect uh, a few guys. This is one guy I do collect, Jose Aldo. This is an auto out of 49. Let's see how it does. 10-10. Wow, that's clean. That looks amazing. Gosh. And I, I, I mean, I'm an auto fan. I do collect them, but, you know, it's not John Jones. Um, it's not, you know, Anderson Silva. It's not some of my main PC guys. So, I mean, if I get a good offer, I might might trade it or I might sell it but this is just a nice looking card it's probably hard to get a 10 on those um other guy that I kind of see that I liked in the 90s uh, Larry Johnson he doesn't sign a lot I don't, I don't see a lot of stuff his signed on, on cards so um I wanted to try to pick this up this is great it looks pretty clean and a 10 wow Again, we'll see what happens. Hopefully it grades well. It looked pretty clean at the card shop. And it got a 9.5. So it, it, it looked clean. Pink Velocity, that's what it's called. So nice looking card. Probably a sell, but a nice looking card. Uh, again, LA Knight. Yeah, guy that I PC. Um, this is a, this is not an auto. This is, it's like a, it, this is a tiger, an elephant or um, a zebra. One of the, I, I, I forget which one it is, but um, hopefully it creates well. Oh, it got a 10. Oh, the tiger. That's probably a PC card, folks. That's not going anywhere. Look at how that pops, that tiger print on LA Knight. What an amazing looking card. Great, 
very happy about that. Last card of this box. This is a um, this is a good story about this card. Thurman Thomas. Again, I'm a Bills fan, as you guys know now. Um, I believe this is a old old 2018 case hit of Optic. If there even was a such thing as a case hit, but I believe this is a MVP, uh, a short print set. I'm not I'm not positive. You know, you can tell me in the comments if I'm totally wrong. Uh, but again, I hope this grades well. Um, this is a, definitely a PC card if it, if it grades really well. Um, I might even keep it if it doesn't. It just looks like a great card, so we'll see. Oh, what kind of 10? Oh, let's go. Let's go. What a, what a nice looking card that is. That is Thurman. That's the man right there. What a nice looking card. Well, that does it for this box uh, tonight. Appreciate you sticking with me. Leave uh, leave comments below how you like this uh, how you like this submission. Appreciate all the feedback. Thanks again.